One of our Patreon members asked me if I would figure out how to play Rainy Night in Soho by the Pogues. I believe he wants to play it for his wife at Christmas for her birthday. So I figured I'd throw it up uh, for everybody. Some thoughts on it. So the Pogues recording is in the key of C major. So the easiest way to do this, and I played around with it in a bunch of different tunings, is to tune your banjo A, D, A, E. Okay, so that's just tuning the G string up a tone from G to A, and then putting a capo on fret three, so that when you play an A shape chord, you're playing the chord of C, which is what the key, the song's uh, key is in, okay? All right, the simplest way to think about this is to strum out the chords, and there's only three chords in the entire song. So I'm just going to talk about the shapes as opposed to the key chords. So we're talking about the shape of A and the shape of D and E. So rather than having to say the shape of anymore, I'm going to talk about A. So we're going to play an A chord, a D chord, and an E major chord. And the, the entire song rotates over three chords. The literal three chord trick. So, the intro, iconic. All right, so that's literally the notes of the intro. Now let's chord that out a little bit. So we're starting, what I recommend, to catch the nuance of the, the melody, but to chord it at the same time. We're gonna do a spread chord, which is A, E, A, E. And lifting off the high A, we get an, an A chord with an E on the top. So we're going for the Then put on a C sharp. All right, so you're catching those notes. those three notes. Next chord is a chord of D. Because our lowest string is tuned up a tone, D is on fret 5, so we're going to play D, F sharp and an open A. We're keeping the E on top, which is like a 7th. The reason for that is that we've just played it, so it's a kind of a rounded out chord as opposed to a full chord. last chord is a chord of E major. There's a little bit of playing in this one because we have to capture the three uh, notes on the second fret and leave the open E. So the way that I do this is I clamp on my thumb to capture the B on the bottom and then use two fingers for the E and the B. You could clamp it with your thumb but that's a lot of jumping around. So here's the first phrase. This is the intro, the, 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 yeah. <laughs> Make sense? That's the hard bit. Everything else after that is pretty much easy. So once the song starts, we're just rotating through A. That's it. Okay, so what we're talking about is an A, an A chord. The simplest A chord in this setup is just to play fret two on the D string. Okay, you can play it 
by playing uh, a C sharp as well. So that'll be fret four on the A string. Either one. R, and again, this is how we're talking different combinations of the A chord. You can play it with the high A on top. Okay, but the simplest one, the absolute simplest, is just to play that single note and strum all four chords, all four strings. There's no real getting away from that, because you do have to capture the full E. If you leave the open A on the bottom, it works, but it's not quite as nice. So that's, that's how to strum it. The strum on the right hand can be as simple or as complicated as you like. I'm not a strumming expert by any stretch of the imagination. One. <laughs> that's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And, you know, if you, like I said, I'm not a strumming expert. <clears throat> but you could strum the full chord and then just catch the top strings for the up, down, up. So that's one option. You can do that right the way through the song because it literally doesn't move off of that chord sequence. So once you learn it once, you can play it right the way through the song. So starting out with the intro. So let's just give another option for what you could do. One would be to cross pick, not really cross pick, but to pick across all four strings. Now we're going to use the exact same chord shape, A, open. simpler version of that we're just going to move on the D string so this is a lot looser in terms of the chord sounds it's actually really nice so with this we're just playing the fret 2 fret 4 and fret 6 so that's E F sharp and G sharp shapes now I get it that the right hand is doing an awful lot more and the left hand is doing a lot less. Could you strum those? the chord down to a four string strum and just move in one note.
if you have that with the intro. And then you have a choice of cross picking. Now the, the picking for the, it's kind of half speed picking. Down up, down up, down up works fine. I would probably go down, up, down, up, 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 down, down. Now you can also double time cross pick it. And there's another variation on it, which would be... Which, while it sounds syncopated, is still down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. options so some of the options depend on if you were playing with others guitar vocals <coughs> excuse me as opposed to if you were just going to sing it solo with a banjo in which case the strum was probably the easiest some strumming and some picking. That all depends on your skill level and how comfortable you are doing multiple things with left and right hand and singing as well. You thought I was going to burst into song there, didn't you? That's it. It's a beautiful song, very simple, three chords. Probably the most tricky part is getting the, the intro so that you're catching the notes. And that chord. And once you get into the song itself, it's, it's pretty simple. A, D, E, and a variety of shapes with those chords. So that. Hogs. Now, they play a lot faster than what I'm doing it here, so I have played along with the Pogues version of the song in E at speed, and I've done a combination of all of those different methods of picking and strumming. Probably did stuff that I didn't do there and vice versa. So hopefully within all of that, there's enough ideas on how to approach covering a song similar to this, or, well, covering this one for starters. So there's a very garbled, uh, on the fly, on the run, uh, lesson for uh, <laughs> the Pogues, Rainy Night in Soho, on the banjo. i
Thank you.